Hey guys, this is Abeck. Um, today I'm going to quickly go over image transfers. It's something that is really simple to do whether you purchase water slide paper on your own to create your own images, whether you buy stuff from Lisa Pavalka, or if you go out and get your own nail art decals. It's a really simple process. And so I'm gonna show you how to use it and what you can do with it if you wanna use it for your pieces. Some of the things that you're gonna to need to do the image transfer, a um, little bit of water, paper towel, your blade, some clay already conditioned or basically ready to be used. You can go purchase sets of nail decals if you want to. And I'm a little sick, so I'm trying to get through this without making too many voice excuses or ahems <clears throat> to get through this, but I, um, I'll keep going. Um, or you can purchase water slide paper. It's an eight by 11. You just have to go online. You can go here at YouTube to watch how they do like the water slide for temporary tattoos and things like that. But I think this is um, 50 or 25 sheets in just this pack, which compared to something this small, that one gives you plenty of room to make as many designs as you want in varying sizes. So for something older I did, I had made these rose pieces and you can see that on darker clay it's a bit harder to see but it still works you could also take watercolor markers and draw on top of the water slide if you chose to or like I did with this piece I don't know if you can see it so well, but I did some holographic foil underneath it and then put the water slide rose on top. So you can use, you know, your Mylar uh, foils, whether you find them somewhere online to purchase or you purchase from one of the well-known artists who also has foils, you can do that. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna condition some ecru clay and I'm going to show you a quick foil. Now it doesn't have to foil the whole thing, just as long as it gives us some sort of background if we want to do it. I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of foil and then I'm going to show you how to do these two different transfers and then that's it. So I went ahead and rolled out my ecru on a number two on my pasta machine. My pasta machine goes from zero to nine. Zero being my thickest, nine being my thinnest. Here's my foil I'm going to use. I'm not really concerned if the whole thing transfers onto the ecru clay, but the important thing here is when you're burnishing this, it's about how much heat you use to get this to transfer onto your clay. And it also works if you use a firmer clay. So I'm going to place that down and just rub it a little bit. Um, sometimes it helps. You can get burnishing paper if you want. I'm just gonna use some paper towel to kind of help with the heat. Sometimes um, my fingers are too cold and it won't help just by doing that. So I'm gonna grab just a little bit of paper towel and I'm gonna start rubbing it. And I wanna rub it just to get it so it's warm and it pushes that foil onto the clay. And it may not perfectly do the whole piece, but that's okay because once you pull this piece off, you can place it back down and go at it again, right where you left off.
Now, the, the key to this isn't really about the foil, it's about the transfers. So, let's see what we have here so far. Oh, that was actually a pretty good rub for that foil. I'm, I mean, we barely have any pieces left, so I'm happy with that. It looks beautiful on the clay. Oops, sorry, I hit my camera. It's gorgeous. I love foils. Okay. So with this one, since we have this rose, and I cut around it as close as I wanted to for this because of the type of paper we're using, you're going to peel. This is the water slide that you make your own image transfers with. This side is tacky now that I've peeled off this little bit of acetate. So I'm gonna set that acetate down. Now, remember when you are doing your transfers, you want to make sure you reverse them when you're printing so that when you do the flip over, it will actually show the right way. So I'm going to go ahead and place this sticky side down and kind of rub it into place. Now I'm going to grab another small piece of my paper towel and I'm going to dip it in the water and then I'm going to get the back of this so it's wet so it'll leave my image here but then I can take that paper backing off and if you don't have nails like right now I don't you want something that can get under meet the paper, be able to lift it. So then we have this beautiful holographic rose. A little closer. Now I see I have a few air bubbles in there, and then there's a couple of the spots where the um, foil didn't take, but again, I'm not super concerned because it's just a reason to embellish later on with the piece, depending on what you're making, whether you're going to do rhinestones or whatnot, you can like add that to it. You can also cut this, you can back this. Um, a piece that I did earlier with the nail image transfers. And then I went ahead and I backed it, which I could put that on a sponge to give it texture. I could put tin foil on it to texture it. I could do a couple other things, maybe later. But I went ahead and textured around the actual image and now we're going to also see how to put one of these on. All right, so I'm gonna have that crew again, just because it's here and it's ready. Um, again, rolled out on a two on my pasta machine. And then I have the nail decal. Or again, this is just image transferring. So with this, this also comes with a plastic on the front and for this one how I did it last time because the image is white on the back and colored on the front I'm going to dip this in the water then dry it off I want it to kind of adhere to the acetate on the front So now it's adhered to the front and I can pull the image off of the backing paper. And you're just going to put it on there and as you're pulling this out you press down to get the image to sit there. Now we still have that plastic piece. We're going to rub a little bit 
to get it to stay in place. I'm gonna get rid of that link I just put on there. Put that in my dirt pile. And again, with this one, because it has the acetate or plastic on the front, you're gonna need something that's gonna help you lift that edge. Get a hold of it. Once you have a hold of it, and don't lose it, you're gonna grab it and pull it off. Then all you have to do is make sure that the image stays there, so you're gonna press it down just a little bit. And that is good to go. And with something this small, like this one, you're, you can make an earring out of this. I mean, there's lots of possibilities that you can do with smaller images like that. And that's really cute when you get it on there. Very, very cute. And of course, you know, when I make these videos, I make it more as something for you to learn on how to do this specific technique more than it is about showing you how to make a piece at the end to say, hey, I made this jewelry piece or hey, I made this. It's really getting this technique more than anything. Um, there is another way to do image transfer and that is with with your TLS and you get an image, you put this down on it, you go and bake it for the time that it needs. Then you let it soak in water and you take the paper off the back and it's a little bit lengthier process. So if you really wanna do it, you're more than welcome to. But these particular ways I like the most. You can do different things with them. I, I know that the Sculpey liquid works really well. I've done it that way um, on another project I did and it had to deal with um, Full Metal Alchemist. I made a bunch of pictures of the Seven Deadly, or Seven Deadly Sins, that's a different anime, sorry, um, of the greed, lust, so on and so forth, and put them in a book. And it worked fine for that purpose but I do like these because you can just do different things so definitely check it out water slide paper you can look that up on Amazon or eBay or wherever and get it without um, images on it so that you can print your own or you can go online and look for nail decals eBay Amazon wish um, and I think Aliexpress has them as well um, then you can also I think find these at Lisa Pavalka where she has her own image transfer product on her website but anywho that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed this little bit of image transferring two ways and I hope you come back for more